So this video we're going to cover some of the updates and uh, some of the latest releases of Trimble Perspective. If I look at one of the scan time settings, we now have an option for an indoor scan mode. So the indoor scan mode is uh, roughly less than a minute. But what it does do is it d um, disables some of the, the, the features that you get with the, some of the other scan modes. So it will undertake a reduced calibration so it doesn't have to go through all the calibration sensors and in turn that reduces your range um, to 30 meters. You also can't use um, some of the tools such as the precision point for georeferencing and you can't use the new area scans feature as well when using the indoor mode. So for this option, um, so I can demonstrate the area scans, I'm just going to start do a scan in the two minutes, turn images off and just start the scan. So once the scan's complete and the data's been downloaded, um, you'll get this box pop up in the bottom left for add area. So if you tap on that, it'll take you into the station view. And you'll see on the right hand side, you've got a couple of different types of selection. You've got horizontal band, vertical band or rectangle. So if we use the rectangle select here and move the home in an area, for instance, a, a scan target we're looking for a little bit more detail on. And for this area here, we can set our, our scan time. So we can up our point density, set it to standard or sensitive. We can add images on or off. And then we can basically um, add that one into the queue. So it will give you an um, estimated time and point spacing um, for that area. If we add it into the queue, and we can continue to go around adding as many areas as we want in here, and the scanner will basically work its way through completing them. So once it's complete, it will download uh, both our scan areas. And if we go in and look at the details of each of the scans, you'll see here that it uh, tells us we have a couple of separate areas which have been scanned, area one and area two. You can actually see the, the higher density within the data. And when you go to export um, these files out, what you'll end up with basically is um, a separate um, file for each scan. So it could be numbered, depending on the type of expert, it could be numbered uh, station one, underscore one, underscore two, underscore three in this instance. 